The Run Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with you today on the 6th of March 2014 and across the western Pacific today as far as the tropics are concerned. Things couldn't be any quieter. I know that we have been watching, well, severe tropical storm, then named Typhoon for a brief period of time. Facts eye out here. Well, take a look at your satellite imagery. There it is. Can you find it? Because uh, I surely cannot, at least as far as the center of circulation. Our storm system, definitely a classic example of what drier inflow and high vertical wind shear will do to a tropical system. This thing just fell apart here. In the past uh, several hours, or excuse me, the past about 12 to 14 hours, and now racing off there towards the northeast, we can see the latest update from JMA. Now, this is pretty old, uh, about 83 gusting up to 120 kilometers per hour. They did expect it to continue to decrease in intensity, and right now, just a tropical low, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency. As I do have this track up, though, I do want to show you the past track of it up until about three days ago when it finally started to take off and see how it was meandering down here towards the south this is one of those classic examples of what we mean by a lack of steering flow what I mean by that is we were saying uh, basically all last week we had a high pressure towards the north and a high pressure towards the west and we were waiting for a trough to come in and pick this up and I know if you are watching and you are one of those people that kept on asking over and over again, really just disagreeing with us, saying this was going to continue to track west towards the Philippines, and you can see it didn't, um, this time of year, this far north, that is probably what's going to happen. This is going to linger and finally take off towards the north. But another reason why uh, we were kind of off on the forecast for Guam was for this meandering in the forecast as well. Because if this did take off north on its westernmost extent right in here, and even if it tracked a little bit farther towards the northwest, Guam definitely would have been impacted a lot more. Instead, it waited to have drifted back towards the east, and that's when the trough finally picked it up. So a lot happening with that storm system over the past week, but thankfully, good riddance on it. It is over with. It is gone. And uh, that's really all we're going to talk about it. So let's see what else is going on across the western Pacific today. And, uh, really, I do want to talk about what's going on in northeastern Asia. It is cold out here. I mean, uh, really, this is one of the worst I've looked on camera and you can see I have my sweater on definitely very uh attempt to stay warm it's because well most of Japan uh it's very chilly and take a look at your uh Friday highs and lows out here across Tokyo just uh eight degrees there for the high one for the low uh even off towards the north it gets colder just around minus five there in uh, parts of Hokkaido so definitely very chilly temperatures in the forecast a reason is, is because what we are seeing out here is these strong northwesterly winds coming behind this low pressure system that moved through Japan here on your Wednesday. Well, now going through Thursday, it's continuing the track towards the north, but still seeing some very gusty winds. A few areas as high as about 100 to 120 kilometers per hour across the Sea of Japan coastline. That's ushering in all those colder air and all that colder temperatures. And expect to remain really chilly through the rest of the week. Now, as far as the Pacific coast, you're not going to see very much precipitation. As far as the Sea of Japan coast, though, uh, it is going to be coming down out here with some heavy snowfall. Take a look at the forecast. That sea effect snow really just uh, continuing to get picked up and dropped there on the western parts of Hokkaido, down through western parts of Tohoku into the uh, Hokuriko region. So heavy snowfall definitely going to continue to pick up. A few areas can see as much as about 40 to 50 centimeters of total snowfall accumulation so that's what's happening there meanwhile if you notice we have another low developing out of northeast or southeastern china you can see it down here towards the southwest as far as that storm is concerned uh really is bringing that potential of some well basically drizzly conditions across much of southeastern china through the rest of the week a few areas could see some heavy thunderstorms or heavy rain showers uh it really it's not until about saturday you see right here, Saturday and the Sunday, that the southern Japanese islands are going to be impacted by this low pressure system. Something to keep an eye on there. It's probably going to sour up your weekend starting out uh, at least uh, going into the uh, next several days. Before Sunday, it really starts to clear up and moves off there towards the northeast. And high pressure builds uh, back in behind that. And that's just going to be dominating the forecast going into the early part of next week. Northeast monsoon or just these easterly winds really dominating the forecast for the Philippines. Uh, you're 
you're really just going to be seeing on and off showers, mainly due to that northeast monsoon. Nothing in too intense at least over the next uh, several days out here in the extended range we are going to be looking at some heavy showers possibly like mid next week for Mindanao and then in the extended extended range um there is uh, I, I'm not sure if I should show this but there's a very slight chance of a weak low way out there this is by the 19th into the 20th somebody had to point it out so i had to bring it up here and uh, that's just one model picking up on a very long range outlook maybe a tropical low near the philippines don't get too worried about that just yet but for now as far as the philippines is concerned your midweek outlook is just going to be those northeast monsoonal rains and little showers around the valley there due to the itcz outside of that partly cloudy skies expect to throw out your forecast for the next three days um isolated showers maybe but nothing uh, too intense so yeah that is all on that right now everybody i do want to show you a few other things that is going on out here today and uh first the entire uh, global infrared imagery because uh, it's not just the northwestern pacific which uh, is getting tropical activity this time of year you should be getting it here in the coral sea and much of the south pacific and that's kind of what we're looking at we have a few areas out here of potential development please go check out our friends at on cycle chasers for more information on that speaking of sydney take a look at this image coming out of sydney here on Tuesday. That is just a scary sight. The Opera House being out here just towards the left part of the screen and uh, that is a nice and impressive roll cloud and definitely the leading edge of a storm system. Speaking of uh, weather as well and this is a different form and I just want to end with this very incredible image out of Io uh, taken by NASA just released. It was by uh, the uh, New Horizons spacecraft that's currently jetting out towards uh, Pluto, uh, just a volcano there. And uh, this is just one incredible image and just shows you that you have uh, some sort of weather on other parts of the solar system and uh, definitely very interesting stuff. And I find all sorts of weather interesting. This uh, image just really jumped out at me when I did see it. But that is all for right now, everybody. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always post them there in the comment box below. And as always, uh, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Oh, and hit that subscribe button. Also, the like button on our Facebook and Twitter. Always appreciate uh, that. All right.